I just All wanted right. to make sure I didn't have any of your ID. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Start but mm -hmm. so. We are here with college woman, uh, Ms. Linda Sanchez from District 39, representing the state of California. I'm here on behalf of U.S. Impact, and I would like to thank you for giving us your time today to answer a few questions. Our first question is, Congresswoman, woman, what do you think about the current state of the U.S.-India relationship? What more would they like to see happen in this relationship from a strategic point of view? Well, currently I think we have a very strong relationship with India. Um, they are great allies in many respects. Um, our democracy being one of the oldest, mm -hmm. democracy in India being one of the largest. Mm -hmm. um, and I think we work together well in terms of uh, uh, economics and commerce between mm -hmm. the two countries and to, um, in terms of trying to combat uh, na uh, threats to national security. Okay, good. Uh, second question is, uh, the United States and India are both victims of terrorism. What are your recommendations to jointly solve this problem? Well, I think certainly um, sharing intelligence information is one of the um, best avenues by which we can attack a common problem. Um, joint training exercises as well, I think, is helpful um, so that both sides are well equipped to deal with um, terrorism. Great. Third question. Have you been to India? I have. I was privileged to go in 2003 uh -huh. um, and visited the cities of Delhi, uh -huh. I went to Agra to see the Taj Mahal, uh, Hyderabad and Mumbai and it was, oh, you like it. Uh, was my first introduction to India and it was beautiful and wonderful and I'm very eager to return. Oh, okay. Have you attended any Indian American local event in your congressional district? Yes, um, we I've attended many um, local events in my district. Most the most notable one is India Day celebrations, which I've been mm -hmm. to for several years. Um, and when I was in Indi India in two thousand three, I bought some saris because I think they're beautiful, <laughs> and I actually wear them at the India Day wow. events. And uh -huh. uh, I feel elegant and beautiful in the sari. Do you so have pictures on there? I do. In, in <laughs> fact, when um, when President Obama invited the Prime Minister for state dinner here in the capital, I the also salahi? I also wore. Uh, well, yes, yes. Unfortunately, <laughs> yes. But I also wore sari for that wow. that evening as well. <laughs> so President Obama is discussing bringing a comprehensive immigration reform bill to the Congress. What are your views on this? Yeah, I'm a very big proponent of a comprehensive immigration reform. I know that there are many um, areas in which our system is broken. Mm -hmm. In my local district office, because I represent a large uh, Indian uh, pop population, we frequently get calls about visas that are delayed or mm -hmm. they're stuck in the process or um, paperwork for citizenship that seems to be taking longer than it should. Mm -hmm. And so we regularly work on immigration problems to try to help resolve them in a speedier way. Mm -hmm. So I know that it takes a long time, it's confusing, oftentimes it's expensive. Many of our immigration policies don't seem to make sense. So I definitely support uh, comprehensive immigration reform, um, helping make the process more streamlined, more rational mm -hmm. for uniting families, um, and more beneficial, quite frankly, for small businesses um, to be able to yeah. expand and grow in the United States. True. Thank you. Uh, another question is, small businesses are the engine of growth and innovation. India, Indian Americans have a disproportionately high number of small businesses in high-tech, biotech, renewable energy, etc. Given that tenacious, tenacious economic, tenacious economic climate uh, what step is Congress taking or should take to protect the interest of these small businesses? Uh, well, as I mentioned previously, many small businesses struggle because of the immigration issue, especially mm -hmm. if you're in um, some of the high-tech sectors mm -hmm. uh, like you know, renewable energy and, um, uh, and innovative uh, technologies. So definitely um, revamping our immigration policy so that small businesses will have the high-tech workers that they need in order to grow and, and prosper. Um, I think also, you know, making sure that there is lending available to mm -hmm. small startups, that mm -hmm. seems to be the 
number one complaint that I hear uh, is that people have problems accessing capital in order to grow um, their mm -hmm. companies, and so those healthcare are and tax. Any view on that? Pardon me. Healthcare and tax. Well, um, it, our country, as an industrialized nation, <laughs> is one of the few that doesn't have a national healthcare system, and um, we have yet to see the full implementation of the Healthcare Reform Act. So, um, you know, the hope is that once the bill is fully implemented, mm -hmm. um, healthcare costs will drop for everybody and there will be more coverage. So that will be um, hopefully one burden that's lifted off of the shoulders of small businesses. Okay. What is your message for U.S. Impact? Um, just that I consider myself um, somebody who is interested in uh, creating a stronger U.S.-India relationship. Mm -hmm. I welcome um, input from folks in the community about mm -hmm. any issue that they may be concerned about and I look forward to helping strengthen that relationship going forward in the future. Awesome. Finally, can you please give a brief message to Indian, your Indian uh, American constituents? Sure. Um, I'm grateful that they are part of my constituency. It is part of a vibrant mix of many different groups that I represent. Um, Indian community is a uh, very hardworking, highly educated community. They are very civically minded and um, give a lot back to the community. Um, and so I welcome them as a part of the fabric that is the United States of America and want to let them know that I hope to represent them with honor and pride um, as long as they'll have me. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Yeah.